Uh, meanwhile, shortly after U.S. President Joe Biden's cabinet picks, the division within the Democratic Party became very clear, with progressives and moderates pulling the president in opposite directions, as well as a call for a racial diversity, managing expectations has become a priority for the U.S. president. In this report, Vivian Oguche takes a look at the impact of President Biden's executive orders and appointment. Take a look. Back in 1791, George Washington convened the first cabinet meeting in America two centuries ago. Though he didn't call it by that name, he enshrined the idea of promoting diverse perspectives at the heart of America's government. Of course, when this happened, all the voices in the room were white and male. Fast forward to 2021, and it's a whole different ball game. The first and foremost, we're trying to pick a, uh, a, a, a black uh, 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 South Asian uh, uh, person as a vice president. So he didn't stop here. He has also gone ahead to appoint so many uh, non uh, Caucasians into into uh, the cabinet. One being one prominent one being appointment of a black man as a defense minister. Now, while the president must live up to his commitment to assemble a diverse cabinet that will not only unify his fractured party, but also get confirmed by a bitterly divided Senate, progressives are pressuring Biden to avoid selecting people with ties to past policy positions or industries to which they object. There is a party after party which is internal angling of the parties. Even in the Republican, you have the moderate, you have the traditionalist, you have the radicals and all. So that is that is embedded in the in the Democratic Party. But whatever be the case, it's a party that is strong, that is built on uh, on, uh, on on some principles. Before and after his inauguration, Joe Biden made no bones about reversing most of former President Donald Trump's policies, and he has done just that. These analysts say a number of these executive orders stand out. The U.S. has only been, has been the, the highest donor to the World Health Organization. So that was going to, really going to affect the, the capacity of that organization to function. So his reversal will now you know, increase that uh, capacity to function properly. The dreamers, the DACA uh, policy of the past, he has restored it back with a bill to the Congress to integrate the dreamers. There's a consensus here. Traditional allies of the United States are celebrating a likely return to normalcy as they continue to speak of a need to rebuild ties and multilateral cooperation against challenges such as the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change after Trump's America First approach upended decades of U.S. foreign policy. Vivian Uguche for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.